Welcome back to this channel. Feeling like an imposter in your own life? Drowning in self-doubt and harsh criticism from that inner voice? If you're a woman who struggled to silence your own personal bully, this book is for you. Written by Amy Morin, a psychotherapist, lecturer at Northeastern University, and the editor-in-chief of the popular psychology website Very Well Mind, 13 Things Mentally Strong Women Don't Do and Find Your Authentic Voice is a refreshingly honest guide to cultivating unshakable confidence and mental fortitude. Through candid personal stories and hard-hitting truths, Morin dismantles the unhealthy mindsets and toxic habits that keep women playing small. With relatable wisdom and straight-talking advice, she dives deep into confronting comparison traps, letting go of perfectionism, embracing vulnerability as a strength, and unapologetically owning your success. Whether you're looking to finally silence your inner critic, defy societal expectations, or simply live more authentically, Morin's words provide an empowering battle cry for the modern woman ready to show up boldly as her brightest self. Chapter 1. They don't compare themselves to other people. Comparing ourselves to others is really common, but also really unhealthy. Social media makes it super easy to see only the best parts of people's lives, and assume they are happier or more successful than us. But the truth is, we're just seeing an incomplete picture. Trying to measure up to that warped view just leads to feeling bad about ourselves for no good reason. You deserve to feel good about yourself without constantly sizing yourself up against others. Happiness and success aren't limited resources that others are hogging, there's more than enough for everyone. Focus on living your best life according to what's meaningful to you. Celebrate other people's wins as inspiration rather than competition. With self-compassion and mindfulness, you can break the comparison cycle and appreciate your own journey. Chapter 2. They don't insist on perfection. I know how hard it can be to resist the urge to be perfect at everything. With all the pressure society puts on women to juggle careers, families, and have it all together, it's no wonder many of us become perfectionists. But constantly striving for perfection is so draining and harmful to our mental health. It leads to burnout, anxiety, and never feeling good enough no matter how much we achieve. You deserve to go easier on yourself. The reality is, perfection is impossible to attain. We all have flaws and limitations, that's just part of being human. Beating yourself up over small mistakes or unrealistic expectations only holds you back from reaching your full potential. Instead of getting trapped in the perfection loop, identify what's really driving that need for flawlessness. Is it approval, trauma, or unfair societal standards? Once you understand the root causes, you can practice self-compassion and embrace your imperfections as strengths. Chapter 3. They don't see vulnerability as a weakness. Opening up and showing your vulnerabilities can feel really scary, but it's actually a brave thing to do. For too long, society has taught women that they need to be tough and hide their true feelings. But keeping everything bottled up inside just hurts you in the end. True strength comes from having the courage to be your authentic self, the good, the bad, and the imperfect. By sharing your story and not being afraid to ask for help, you'll find that people respect your honesty and openness. Let's be real, no one is made of steel. We all have insecurities, struggles, and moments of weakness. Pretending those don't exist by putting on a brave face all the time is exhausting. The healthiest thing is to embrace your vulnerabilities as simply being human. Sure, it may feel uncomfortable at first to voice your needs or own your mistakes. But doing so allows you to build real connections, take risks, and grow as a person. Vulnerability is not weakness, it's authenticity. And that's powerful. Chapter 4. They don't let self-doubt stop them from reaching their goals. Don't let those nagging voices of self-doubt hold you back from going after your dreams. A little self-doubt is normal and can even push you to work harder. But if you let it spiral into fear and procrastination, you'll never reach your full potential. You are capable of amazing things, don't sell yourself short. When those doubtful thoughts creep in, face them head on. 
Gather evidence of your skills, make a plan with small steps, and stay focused on your why. Believe in yourself and take action anyway. Self-doubt doesn't have to stop your shine. Self-doubt affects everyone to some degree, but it tends to hit women especially hard thanks to society's mixed messages about our abilities. Feeling unsure or wondering what if is natural when pursuing a goal. The problem is when those doubtful thoughts become all-consuming and prevent you from even trying. A healthy way to manage self-doubt is to get more knowledge, break things down into baby steps, and remember that the worst case isn't usually that bad. Don't let self-doubt become a self-fulfilling prophecy. Acknowledge it, but don't let it call all the shots. Chapter 5. They don't overthink everything. I know how easy it is for our minds to get stuck overthinking and overanalyzing every little detail, especially for us women. We tend to juggle so many responsibilities that our brains just won't stop worrying. But constantly playing situations over and over in our heads doesn't actually solve anything, it just leaves us drained and anxious. You deserve to give your beautiful mind a break from all that rumination. Be kind to yourself. When you catch yourself slipping into overthinking mode, gently redirect your thoughts. Do something engaging yet relaxing to change the mental channel. Over time, you can train your fabulous brain to worry less. Let's be honest, overthinking is a problem many women struggle with. Biologically, our brains are just wired to ponder and reflect more. Add to that societal pressures and emotional labor, and it's no wonder we can't seem to stop mulling things over. But excessive overthinking leads to increased stress, anxiety, and difficulty being present. It sucks the joy out of life. The solution isn't to eliminate thinking altogether, but to catch yourself when it becomes unproductive rumination. Set aside dedicated worry time, use distraction techniques, and practice mindfulness. Don't let your thoughts control you. Chapter 6. They don't avoid tough challenges. Don't let fear hold you back from reaching your full amazing potential. I know tough challenges can feel super intimidating, but avoiding them means you'll never grow. When you push through the hard stuff, that's when the real magic happens, you unlock new skills, build unshakable confidence, and create an incredibly fulfilling life. Sure, you might stumble along the way, but every failure just makes you wiser and stronger. Forget playing it safe, safe is boring. Take the leap, back yourself 100%, and show the world what you're truly capable of. You've got this. The reality is, shying away from difficult situations only leads to stagnation. While it's natural to want to stay in your comfort zone, avoiding challenges deprives you of valuable growth opportunities. Research shows women in particular tend to underestimate their abilities and psyche themselves out of tough tasks. But routinely challenging yourself, even if you feel scared at first, allows you to expand your skills and confidence over time. Reframe setbacks as lessons, not limiting beliefs. Surrounding yourself with people who embrace challenges can also motivate you. At the end of the day, pushing your boundaries aligns you with your values and dreams. Chapter 7. They don't fear breaking the rules. Don't be afraid to challenge outdated rules that no longer serve you. From an early age, society conditions women to be obedient rule followers. But blindly sticking to norms without questioning them can seriously hold you back from reaching your true potential. The path to growth and positive change often means bravely defying unjustified expectations, even if it makes others uncomfortable at first. Think of the trailblazing women who broke barriers by doing things their own way, they paved the way for the freedoms we enjoy today. You have that same courage inside you. Listen to your inner wisdom over arbitrary rules that don't align with your values. The strongest move you can make is choosing what's right for you. Rules exist for good reasons in many cases, to create order, enforce ethics, and keep people safe. However, adhering too rigidly to societal norms and unwritten rules, especially those based on outdated ideas, can prevent personal and societal progress. Research shows women tend to be conditioned as rule followers and people pleasers from a young age more so than men. 
but this can make it harder to justify breaking norms, even unhelpful ones. Mentally strong individuals critically examine rules instead of simply accepting them. If a rule actively holds you back from your goals or values, you may need to thoughtfully defy it. This allows you to lead by example and open up new possibilities. Of course, reckless rule-breaking is unwise, there should be sound justification for challenging an established norm. Chapter 8. They don't put others down to lift themselves up. Putting others down in an attempt to feel better about yourself is ultimately a losing game. I know it's tempting to gossip, make snide remarks, or put someone else's achievements down, especially when we're feeling insecure or jealous. But engaging in that negativity only breeds more negativity. It hurts others deeply and creates emotional scars. Most importantly, it doesn't actually solve the real issue, your own self-worth struggles. Instead of tearing others down, have some compassion for yourself and where those feelings are coming from. Build your confidence from the inside out through living your values. Celebrate others' wins as inspiration rather than competition. When you lift others up, you'll find you lift yourself up too. Let's be real, putting other people down to make yourself feel superior is toxic behavior. It stems from deep insecurity, jealousy, or a misguided sense of proving your dominance. But engaging in gossip, backhanded compliments, and outright insults ultimately just makes you look petty and small. It doesn't actually boost your self-esteem in any sustainable way. In fact, putting others down usually backfires and limits opportunities for everyone involved. The healthier approach is doing the work to build genuine self-confidence based on your principles and accomplishments, not dragging others to feel elevated temporarily. Reframe your competitive, jealous thoughts and make an intentional choice to support others' successes instead of envying them. True strength doesn't require belittling anyone else. Chapter 9. They don't let others limit their potential. Don't let anyone else put limits on your amazing potential. Too often, we get boxed into labels or identities that others impose on us, without realizing we have the power to break free. Maybe people see you as the shy one or make assumptions about what you can and can't do based on your background. But those narrow perspectives don't define you, only you get to decide who you are and what you're capable of. Have the courage to reshape your life according to your authentic values and dreams, not society's expectations. Believe in yourself wholeheartedly and pursue the life you want, despite any doubts or criticisms. The path won't always be easy, but staying true to your spirit is what allows you to soar. It's important to recognize how frequently people, even with good intentions, can limit someone else's growth potential through words, actions, or limiting belief systems. Whether it's gender stereotypes, abuse of power dynamics, or sensitivity to criticism, these external forces imprint self-limiting beliefs that hold us back from reaching our full capabilities. The key is becoming aware of these unhealthy patterns and cognitive distortions so they don't constrain your authenticity or goals. While input from others can sometimes provide helpful perspective, you get to critically analyze it and forge your own path. Living genuinely according to your intrinsic values, setting boundaries, and filtering out negativity that undermines you allows for true self-actualization. Chapter 10. They don't blame themselves when something goes wrong. I know how easy it is to get trapped in a cycle of self-blame when painful things happen, especially for women taught to take responsibility for everyone's emotions and actions. But beating yourself up constantly prevents you from truly healing and moving forward. Have some compassion for yourself, you're only human doing the best you can. Excessive self-blame is linked to so many mental and physical issues like depression, low self-worth, and burnout. Instead of judging and criticizing, practice separating fact from fiction about what you could control. Own your mistakes if appropriate, but don't take on guilt that isn't yours to carry. Forgive yourself, seek support from loved ones, and focus on repairing what you can. Be gentle with yourself through life storms. Assigning yourself excessive blame when negative events occur is an irrational and unhealthy coping mechanism. 
Research shows this tendency, especially common among women socialized to take on others' burdens, leads to numerous psychological issues and general life stagnation. Realistically evaluating your level of control over a situation is important. If you made a mistake, take ownership and make amends where possible. But irrationally internalizing all responsibility prevents processing emotions properly and impedes growth. Practice separating factual accountability from cognitive distortions and self-loathing narratives. Seek social support systems or professional help if needed to develop self-compassion. Taking appropriate responsibility is reasonable, unchecked, excessive self-blame is self-destructive. Chapter 11. They don't stay silent. Don't let anyone silence your powerful voice. For too long, women have been told to stay quiet about injustices like harassment, abuse, and discrimination. But keeping those painful experiences bottled up only allows the mistreatment to continue. Speaking your truth, even if your voice shakes at first, is an act of immense bravery. When you find the courage to break the silence, it empowers others to do the same and spread awareness. You have the right to be heard and respected. Don't let fear tactics make you small. Speak out and unite with other fierce voices to create lasting change where sexism and disrespect are never tolerated. Using your voice is your superpower. Numerous studies show that staying silent about mistreatment, whether it's harassment, abuse, or discrimination, perpetuates those harmful behaviors. Many women choose not to speak up due to legitimate fears, not being believed, retaliation, humiliating reporting processes, or knowing the perpetrator. However, this silence keeps women isolated and removes their influential power and agency. From a rational standpoint, acknowledging victimization privately to a confidant is a crucial first step, even if you don't report it through official channels initially. Speaking up spreads awareness and prevents others from enduring similar mistreatment. It may seem daunting, but using your voice makes a substantive difference. For positive cultural change, it's imperative to create an environment where speaking out is encouraged and protected. Chapter 12. They don't feel bad about reinventing themselves. Don't be afraid to reinvent yourself. Staying stuck in the same routines and mindsets will only keep you small. The magic happens when you embrace change and have the courage to grow into your most authentic, fulfilled self. Sure, transforming your life can feel scary and uncomfortable at first. But which would you prefer, playing it safe in the shallow end, or diving into the deep waters of your potential? Make that choice to evolve. Start with little shifts that feel motivated by hope, not fear. Whenever doubts or hurdles arise, focus on your why, the happier life waiting for you on the other side. You've got this. Each brave step will fortify you for the next. Reinventing yourself allows you to blossom into who you're truly meant to be. It's natural for personalities and priorities to shift over time. Reinventing yourself by making adjustments in your life, habits, and mindset is simply a part of acknowledging that personal growth. Many obstacles like fear of change, others' opinions, and inertia can obstruct your ability to align with your current values. But clinging to an outdated lifestyle that no longer fits prevents you from maximizing fulfillment. The solution is conducting periodic self-assessments and making manageable changes to close the gap between your actual and desired states of being. Start with small steps that face inevitable insecurities directly. While discomfort is normal, embracing positive reinvention ultimately leads to elevated authenticity and life satisfaction. Chapter 13. They don't downplay their success. Ladies, it's time to start owning your incredible accomplishments. For too long, we've been conditioned to shrink ourselves and downplay our successes out of fear of coming across as arrogant or undesirable. But diminishing your hard-earned achievements sells you incredibly short. You worked your tail off to get to where you are, so celebrate it. Don't deflect that well-deserved praise or credit your wins to mere luck. Nope, you made those dreams happen through consistent effort and undeniable skills. Bask in that boss feeling and let it fuel you even further. The world needs your brilliance on full display. 
By embracing your successes wholeheartedly, you'll inspire other women to do the same. Crushing it looks fabulous on you. Many women struggle with downplaying or minimizing their successes for various societal and psychological reasons. Perhaps it stems from ingrained modesty teachings, imposter syndrome beliefs, or, misinformed, fears about seeming unattractive. However, objectively speaking, this tendency undermines one's sense of self-worth and competence. It's counterproductive for personal and professional growth. The facts are, you've worked diligently, applied your talents, and achieved praiseworthy accomplishments, own that reality. Certainly, avoid appearing arrogant, but don't discount your perfectly valid achievements either. Normalize acknowledging strengths, accepting compliments gracefully, and sharing your expertise by teaching or mentoring others. Appreciating your own successes allows you to reinforce positive self-perceptions and perpetuate further success. Conclusion At its core, this book is a powerful guide for women to break free from limiting beliefs, societal pressures, and self-imposed barriers that prevent them from living as their most authentic, confident selves. Through relatable stories and clear, actionable advice, Amy Morin empowers readers to cultivate mental strength by rejecting toxic mindsets like comparison, perfectionism, and self-doubt. She inspires women to embrace vulnerability as courage, push through fears, and stand up for their worth, both to themselves and to others. Ultimately, Morin makes a compelling case that true fulfillment comes from within, from knowing your values, owning your successes, and having the resilience to adapt and grow over time. While the path isn't always easy, this book equips women with the mental fortitude to challenge restrictive norms, speak their truth, and reinvent themselves whenever needed to align with their ever-evolving sense of purpose. By putting Morin's lessons into practice, women can finally shed insecurity and self-limitation to make space for their brilliance to shine through. While this review has provided an overview of the powerful lessons in Amy Morin's book, the true value lies in reading her words directly and immersing yourself fully in her wisdom. Morin's candid writing style and relatable anecdotes create an experience that feels like receiving advice from a trusted friend, one who has been there and can gently, yet firmly, guide you towards profound self-acceptance. Her actionable tips, insightful reframes, and evidence-based strategies aren't just feel-good fluff, but proven tools refined through Morin's years of experience as a psychotherapist. To gain the full transformative impact, I encourage you to purchase a copy of the original book or ebook and allow Morin's teachings to actively reshape your inner dialogue. It's an investment in your personal growth and mental strength that is sure to pay dividends. Support Morin's important work by experiencing 13 things mentally strong women don't do in its entirety. See you in the next video, keep watching this channel. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe so that you don't miss out on discussing the next interesting book.